Hello and welcome back to my Android tutorial series. This is tutorial number 13. This is how to delete entries from a database. Let's go ahead and fire up our tutorial. You can see this is a continuation of number 12, which is a continuation of number 11. Uh, the only visual difference is we've got a delete note button. But if you press it initially, it doesn't do anything. And there's a reason for that. Now let's add a note. Another note. And you can see we've still got the ability to edit notes. If you click on the add button, that actually updates the existing note. Now if you add, it's another one. But now if you click on a note and then click the delete button, it deletes. And then you can add another one back. And it goes. So we've implemented the delete functionality so we can pull entries from our, click an item in our list and then delete those entries from our database. Now let's examine the project. Here's our main.xml. The only thing we've added is a button for delete. Now let's go to our uh, tutorial 13 Java. Here we've basically duplicated the text above, which is we get our button and then we set an on-click listener. In this case, we set our delete on delete method. What is that? Well, our on delete method is really similar to our on save method. In this case, we call it. If the note ID is null, we don't want it to do anything because we haven't clicked a note yet. So we don't have an ID, so we don't want to do anything. If we have clicked something, then we have a note ID that's not null, and we want to call the helper on delete method. Then after we've done that, we set the note ID back to null, requery it so the uh, list view uh, is updated via the adapter, and set the text back to nothing. That's the only thing we've changed in our uh, ac main activity tutorial 13 class. Now look at the helper, and then the only thing we've added here is the on delete method. And you can see here the delete in the helper is get writable database delete. Now we pass it the notes and then the ID equals query, and then we create uh, the array containing the ID uh, and pass it into the query, and that's it. You can see delete, update, insert. That's it. And that's everything for this update. Uh, once again, if you have any requests, I'll be happy to take them, break them down, make them into as simple a tutorial as possible. If you'd like some additional commentating, if you think there needs to be a little more information in any of these, always feel free to send me a note or an email or uh, post to my blog. If you'd like to download these projects or request a specific project, you can do so via our website and hope this helped you out and I'll have another one for you soon.